Hi guys, it's Amy from Frugal Cookie Blog, back with my Look Fantastic unboxing. This, I believe, is the unboxing for February, and we are at the very end of March. So apologies for my lateness on this. Uh, let me just see, what month does it say? Oh, no. It says March. There we go. I must have got it at the very beginning of March. It does feel like I've had this forever. So apologies that it's late. Um, and let's just get into the unboxing. Uh, so I've got another L magazine here. Um, and I will... Oops, thicker than last month. So it's definitely got a bit of thickness going on there. I did have a flick through this at the time. And I just... I used to get these kind of magazines all the time. But I just feel like... For the price, there is a lot of adverts, you know, and what is the price? It's like £4.40 now. I mean, really, that's a lot, considering that it's kind of taken up with just a lot of adverts for things that I can't really afford. Although I can, I can afford these. These are really nice. These are the Clinique Marameco Lip Glosses, and they're in so many different colours. And they are beautiful. I've got this one. And I really want this one. So, yeah. That's something I can afford. But it's another advert. So, if you, you get what I mean. So, guest clothing. I mean, I don't look like that. But, I mean, that's beautiful. Uh, hair dye. I don't want to dye my hair at the moment. Uh, River Island. So, I mean, you're kind of spending a lot of money. Oh, Shea and Blue. I talked about this in a previous video. It is a nice scent my favorite but yeah so you're you're just paying um for adverts there's there's some nice fashion bits and pieces but i mean it's a lot of money i know we all pay our tv licenses etc and there's a lot of adverts on tv so i suppose it's no different but in my opinion i would just like a magazine to be full of interesting things to read rather than just advert after advert after advert so ramble over let's get into the box so first of all, we have got this Skimono Beauty Masks Total Conditioning Replenishing Foot Mask packed with shea butter, olive oil and tea tree and chamomile. Um, so that's good. I have got really dry feet at the moment, TMI, I know. Um, but it's winter and they could just do with a bit of love. So I'll probably give that a go today. Um, it's Sunday today, so, you know, I've got a bit of time on my hands and my other half is working. So, yeah, that sounds good. Next, we have got a cream of some sort. This is the Flash Relax Mask by Renew Skin. I don't think I've ever had anything from this brand before, and this is for mature skin. Um, I feel like my skin is getting more mature, so I'm about two weeks away from my 30th birthday. Uh, so instant facelift effect, that really appeals to me just right about now, really. Um, it's a 30ml bottle, so it's a fairly good sample sample size. It's a fairly good size, that's what I'm saying. Uh, next I've got this brush. I can't help but think I've had this in a box before. So this is like one of those sort of toothbrush um, face brushes. I'm just not very good at using them. This is by Style London. Um, and they are super duper soft but I, I may give this to somebody because I have got one of these and it's just this doesn't really work for me or perhaps I'll do a giveaway so I have got a few items I've sort of seen in beauty boxes that I just know from looking at um, I'm not going to use them so let me know if you'd like me to get a giveaway together I can certainly do that with um, you know usually at least one item from each beauty box basically um makes sense to to give it to someone who will maybe get some joy out of it next we have got this freematic eyeshadow duo from the brand luce uh, i don't know how you say that uh, let me just open her up okay one moment Okay, so this packaging is really interesting. They slide out um, and they're, ooh, they're also magnetic on the back so you can stick them to each other or you can pop them in like a little Z palette or something like that. They're very nice neutral shimmery colours. 
So I feel like, you know, if they're so small, they'd be great for traveling. Um, you know, rather than taking a little palette or something, they're just kind of your essential colors. So you need a light and a dark and away you go. So that's nice. Next, I can never pronounce this brand. Um, Omorovishka? Omorovishka, Budapest. Um, and what is this? This is the Balancing Moisturiser. So I think I've got like a serum or some sort of gel from this brand as well. So when I start to use this, I might try and incorporate that as well. I haven't used it. I think I got it from the other product uh, from my Look Fantastic advent calendar. So I think Look Fantastic do work with this brand quite a bit. Um, but I think it'd be good to use them in conjunction with one another. You know, you do tend to get better results um, from using sort of quite a few of the same brand because they are sort of designed to work with each other. That's my opinion anyway. Um, and then the final item is by a brand that I do really like. And this is Skin Chemists. These tend to be quite a pricey brand. I don't know if it tells you necessarily in the book how much everything costs. No. So it doesn't tell you. But I know for a fact that Skin Chemists is quite a good and quite expensive brand. This is the Rose Quartz Youth Defense Lip Plump. Um... Stimul, restructuring, boost, plump, glow. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, it smells very much like peppermint oil, and peppermint oil, as far as I'm aware, does help to kind of plump things up. It gives that a little bit of a tingling sensation. I'm not going to use this today. Sometimes I am a little bit scared of products that offer plumping. I have got the, uh, the Too Faced Lip Injection Plumper. And I used it on my hand and it brought my hand out into like a huge kind of allergic reaction style lump. So I'm just a bit scared to apply it to my lips basically. I'm somebody who is prone to kind of cold sores and I don't, you know, if I've got something coming up that I want to not be covered in cold sores for, I don't really want to use it just in case. Um, so I'm not going to try it today just because I've got a busy week ahead of me next week and I I don't want cold sores getting in the way, basically. But it's super pretty, smells really nice. I think it's got fairly natural ingredients, whereas I'm not sure about how natural the Too Faced one is. Um, I was just shocked at how much of a, um, of a lump it brought up on my hand. Whereas I've tried this on my hand, just there. And it hasn't brought a lump up, so, I mean, that's a good sign. Um, I don't think it's the kind of thing that's designed to give you a reaction to make your lips bigger. I think it's just designed to kind of give you that sort of tingling feeling. And I don't know if maybe subconsciously you will then think that your lips look bigger. Um, but that's everything that I got in my box for March. I'm actually really happy with the contents. I feel like I got good value for money, especially with this product here. I know that this brand can be quite pricey and that is a 30ml bottle so I would say that that's probably a full size. Um, looking forward to trying the mask again, that's a really good one. These are going to come in really handy for my travels as I am away next week so I will pop them in my makeup bag. This, not as fussed on but they don't know I've previously had that in a box so I can happily give that away or pop it into a giveaway and yeah. That's everything. Oh no, and I got this as well. So really good box, really good value for money, and I would definitely recommend it based on that one. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like and subscribe, and if you've got any questions, as always, please feel free to leave them below, and I just hope you're having a great day.